Hello, this is Kip Welchlin and welcome to Welchlin.com. Today's video blog is on generational communication. The question is, are traditionals always early to work? <sighs> Kit, I've owned and managed many companies over the years and I have the hardest time getting to work before my oldest employees. Can't they sleep in? Don't they have a life? Oh, they do have a life. And I know what you are saying. I first noticed a difference in the generations when I owned manufacturing companies in the 80s. Traditionals would arrive to work an hour before the shift would start. They'd be making coffee and getting ready and setting things up. Talk about loyal and dedicated employees. Baby boomers, yeah, they would show up too early, but not that early. Baby boomers are willing to stay late. They have a hard work ethic and will work long hours. Just make sure you recognize them for it. Generation Xers would start negotiating their hours and shift times during the job interview before I'd even offered them the job. Millennials, they'll stay. They will work with you as long as the work has variety and meaning for them. They will do grunt work as long as they understand the purpose and how it relates to the mission. I guess I will just have to set my alarm clock earlier. Thank you for watching this video blog on generational communication. So the question was, are traditionals always early to work? Traditionals do come to work early and are loyal. You can count on them. Boomers will work very hard and need to be recognized for the long hours. Generation Xers want balance now, not when they're 65. And millennials want variety, community service projects, and project-centered work assignments. Check back to Welchland.com every Monday for a new video blog. Baby boomers would get a kick out of it and reminisce about overhead projectors and slide projectors. 